What is up guys? Welcome back to another AMC video. We have some big things coming up. In fact, for all of you patient AMC apes out there, I finally got some pretty spicy news to add some color to your day. So right now, AMC has been pretty flat. Well, today, the bank stocks, the tech stocks, the S&P 500, all going up so much today. And you have AMC pretty much flat at negative 2%. It's not really that fun, especially in the past month. It Ever since it goes into like the 50s and 60s, it's been pretty flat. But here's the good thing. When you have a higher short interest, meaning when a lot of shares are borrowed on the public market and then sold short, usually you see a massive decrease in price. But what's super interesting about AMC and what makes it different is every time when AMC just goes down a little bit below 60, a bunch of apes start buying which leads it to go up, more shorts double down, goes down, and then guess what? Even more buying from the apes, eventually it leads to a consolidation like this. You do have the short interest being extremely high, and we're not talking about naked shorts and synthetic shares, we're just talking about short interest of the free floats, which if that is covered, you will be seeing a massive increase. During AMC's first massive rally, it went from a pretty cheap price of 14 bucks all the way up to $63, okay. All right, if you check this out, it's essentially like a 300, 400% gain. And you may be wondering, how does that even happen? Well, it's because a short interest went from 20% down to roughly 13, 14%. So it was only like six, 7% of the free float being covered and it caused a massive surge. And during a surge like this, you have more and more apes that pile onto the AMC stock. And right now, what's really special about this is we could be seeing another mimic like before. If you check out AMC, you do have AMC actually stabilizing for a very long period of time with very low volume before spiking up. And what we're seeing right now is very, very low volume for AMC. In fact, this volume at an hourly basis is actually like a tenth of the volume compared to before, meaning you don't even need that many buyers to really push the spot price all the way up. So when you have such a high short interest and just some of the short interest of the free flow just covers, you got a massive spike up in the price. Right now, if you check out Ortex, they're essentially saying that the exchange is reporting short interest in AMC as high as 85 million shares. And there's only roughly well, 500 shares available. That's in existence, technically. Now, we're not really gonna talk about synthetic shares and all like that, but just the mere fact that 17 to 18% of all the shares at AMC are sold short is an enormous amount. In comparison, regular stocks only have three, four, five percent at the very max sold short. So just the fact that 17% so short is crazy. Now, what Ortex is saying is that this is a much larger number than anticipated and indicates that there's an even higher than anticipated short interest. I was pretty shocked that it's 17 to 18%, okay? This is a lot. And obviously a lot of the data for the short interest is slightly delayed, but keep in mind that these short positions are held on for a very long time. And I'm pretty sure these short positions have not covered yet because I'm not seeing any sort of like a massive spike up. And if the hedgies actually cover and maybe buy back several millions of these shares and maybe lower the short interest from 17 to maybe 10%, we could be looking at a massive surge of the stock to perhaps 70, 80, even 100, $150 around that region. On top of that, when you got the price surging for AMC, first of all, the apes will be buying in, all right? Even more people, even more retail traders will be buying into AMC. Second of all, even more options will be open for more betting on AMC. And every time when you open an option, guess what happens? The market makers have to buy 100 shares. And guess what happens then? When they buy 100 shares, AMC stock goes up just a teeny tiny amount, and we have thousands and thousands of these options being open. You have a massive gamma squeeze. Market makers have to buy 100 shares of each option on a constant basis. So if like 500, 600, 700,000 contracts are being open that expires, for example, next week, we could be seeing a huge gamma squeeze followed by a short squeeze. And don't forget the FTD squeeze, which is the failure to deliver. Remember, a lot of these market makers haven't even delivered on several million of these shares, okay? And it's T plus 35, meaning 
the moment they fail to deliver, they get 35 days to actually get the shares to the everyday retail traders. That's you and me. But here's a fact, we get these phantom shares, these fake shares. So they usually give you the real shares on day 34, but you wouldn't even notice it. You're probably even holding phantom shares on your hands right now, which is pretty crazy. So there you go, we got the fail to deliver stuff. And this is stuff that you actually have to cover. If you check out like April, a lot of shares have been FTD, meaning when the apes open a bunch of the options and they expire in the money and they want the shares, it's FTD, failure to deliver from the market makers. And the market makers are in debt to you. They eventually have to buy back the stock, which also increases the price. And because last month, okay, 30 days ago, in that two week period, that failure to deliver number has skyrocketed exponentially at pretty much like an all time high at this point. So you have that kind of squeeze coming up, which will be coming in on a daily basis. And just keep that in mind. We do have a lot of spicy stuff coming in for AMC. And I really do feel like AMC could be hitting $100 perhaps next week. That's something that's very doable and that could definitely happen if you really look into AMC. Because guess what happened with Volkswagen back in 2008? Volkswagen went up like 100, 200, 300% around that region. And Volkswagen only had a short interest of 17%, which is the same thing as AMC. But AMC short interest is probably still increasing. Our data is just delayed a little bit. Just imagine that. Can you imagine how many people got rich off of Volkswagen in 2008? That was during like the housing bubble crash. And there were like millionaires being made. That was like Wall Street bets before Wall Street bets. That was like AMC kind of stuff. But here's the difference between that short squeeze and the one that AMC might be experiencing next week or in a couple of weeks. First of all, most of the shares of AMC are controlled by retail traders, which are essentially diamond handing their way through, and they want to have an even higher price. Whereas the Volkswagen squeeze eventually stopped at the top instead of going up even further, a lot of institutions started selling off because most of the shares of Volkswagen were owned by major institutions. So institutions eventually kind of crashed the price of the stock but nevertheless, at the end of the day, hedge funds lost tens of billions of dollars after that whole entire Volkswagen stuff. And we could be seeing the same thing for AMC. And crazy thing about AMC, 80% of the shares are owned by retail traders and possibly even more now. And guess what? We have some of the biggest hedge funds right now, Vanguard and BlackRock together own roughly 14% of the free float. On top of that, several other smaller funds are also doubling down and buying more AMC stock. So crazy stuff is happening. Definitely subscribe for more and make sure you guys check out the private Discord server, guys. You won't regret it. It's free until July 1st. And guess what? We've got different options trades. We have a very high win rate. Several different analysts here, crypto alerts, signals, all this kind of stuff. If you have any questions, just ask us. We also offer phenomenal customer support. And we also have analysts who are very, very knowledgeable on this topic. We're also adding new things on a weekly basis. It's probably like one of the like most variety and like a huge different analyst pile Discord server that you will ever see. Different signals, different vibes. And also check out BlockFi in the description below as well. Click on it, make a BlockFi account. I'll pass us some money and give up to $250 worth of Bitcoin. Thanks for watching guys and enjoy your day.